I kind of think probiotic supplements are a scam. Can't you just eat healthy foods instead? Okay, that's not true. Probiotics are live microorganisms that when taken in significant quantities offer health benefits to your body. The key word there in relation to your statement is live because while it's true that probiotic rich foods do contain live bacteria, most of them do not survive the journey through your digestive system. You see, your stomach acid's primary job is to eliminate bacteria, forming a crucial part of your immune defense. Sure, fermented foods bring other advantages like nurturing the microbiome in your mouth and esophagus, and maybe even in your respiratory tract, but the real challenge is getting these beneficial bacteria all the way to your gut. Your digestive path stretches from your mouth to the other end, and each section plays a role. If the bacteria can't navigate this journey, their potential impact fades away. So unfortunately, you can't just rely on gut healthy foods to replace a probiotic for healthier body and mind. Now let's delve into the idea of probiotics being a scam. Well, that's simply not accurate either. In fact, there is substantial scientific evidence that demonstrates the effectiveness of high quality supplements for both the body and the mind. However, it's important to acknowledge that the supplements market is not always well regulated, and this leaves room for some questionable products. This is why it's crucial for you to conduct thorough research or consult with a registered dietitian like me before deciding to take any supplement. You want to look at the brand you're buying from and if they have credible experts on their development team. Importantly, make sure you use a probiotic supplement that can prove it delivers the friendly bacteria to your gut in a living state via a delayed release capsule. You can find this out from brands that share their data on survivability and efficacy of their products. Just ask them, do you have any evidence for how many of the bacteria reach the gut alive? If they don't, I wouldn't take it, so neither should you.